Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer, and in today's video, we are gonna talk about seven easy ways to increase your protein intake. So let's get started. So protein is a macronutrient, which means your body requires it in larger quantities in order to function. Protein is very popular when it comes to healthy living, when it comes to weight loss, bodybuilding, fitness competitions. Why is protein so important? Well, protein is so important is because it helps the body build lean muscle tissue while allowing you to burn body fat. Allowing you to hit the correct amount of protein you need in a day can be very overwhelming for a lot of people. So in this video, I'm gonna break down seven simple ways that you can easily boost your protein intake. So the first tip is to include a protein source with every meal. It's not enough to just get all of the protein you need in the day. The timing of that protein and spacing it out by getting at least 20 to 30 grams of protein with every meal is essential because not only does it help you feel full and satisfied longer, it allows the body to preserve lean muscle mass while forcing you to burn fat as a fuel source. So examples of proteins that you can consume with every meal includes chicken, fish, red meat. You can use plant-based sources such as hemp tofu, lentils, eggs, so on and so forth. So tip number two is you want to choose slightly leaner and larger portions of meat. For instance, a three ounce sirloin steak provides 26 grams of protein, whereas a three ounce T-bone steak contains 21 grams of protein per serving. Obviously, there's going to be a difference in the dietary fat content, but going with slightly leaner protein sources will allow you to boost that protein number so that way at the end of the day, you're not struggling to hit your macros. So tip number three is going to be to include cottage cheese in your diet. An entire cup of cottage cheese includes 23 grams of protein, but not only is it a high protein source, it is also a slow digesting protein because cottage cheese has the protein from the casein part of milk. And with that being said, you guys, it is an essential element that is going to keep you fuller longer because casein is a slow digest protein, which takes on order of four to eight hours to break down, as opposed to things like whey, which break down in only about an hour or so. So tip number four, this is going to sound really interesting, is going to be to cook your rice or your quinoa using bone broth. So when you cook rice, you typically use water to rinse the rice, water to cook the rice. I have found if you use an Instapot or even on a stove top by using chicken stock, bone broth, beef broth, and using that as the liquid to cook your rice or quinoa, you will be able to get a lot more protein because one cup of chicken bone broth is nine grams of protein. And it's also gonna allow your rice or grains of your choice to be more flavorful. Tip number five, it's going to be to introduce collagen into your coffee. I'm a huge fan of collagen and coffee and with the Gage Life Nutrition Supplement line, I used to do it with the unflavored, but we now have salted caramel, we have vanilla, we have chocolate and one scoop adds 22 grams of protein with zero carbs and zero fat. And it actually adds like a nice flavor, especially if you're used to drinking just black coffee. So drinking the protein, it can just, in the morning coffee, it's a nice change of pace. It doesn't feel as tedious as eating food, if that makes sense. So adding collagen to your coffee is a wonderful way to boost your protein intake. So tip number six is going to be to try an egg white fried rice. So egg whites are one of my favorite protein sources and I tend to have it for breakfast almost every single day. And what I do is I scramble egg whites in the grease after cooking two slices of bacon. I either do turkey bacon or organic bacon. I will scramble eight ounces of egg whites in that grease and then from there, I'll stir fry in my portion of carbohydrates, sometimes like four ounces of carbs. I'll add my veggies, sometimes some spinach, sometimes some mushrooms or the green veggie of my choice. But that is such an easy way because when you scramble it and break it up, it almost just feels like you're eating rice and you're really getting a ton of protein with that meal and it doesn't feel as heavy as just eating tons of boneless skinless chicken breast. Last but not least, it's going to be to use a protein supplement. Now, 
Some folks feel like they don't want to use protein supplements because they want to keep their food choices more all natural. But the thing is, protein supplements, there are natural ones. My Gage Life proteins are a very perfect example of that. The nice thing about protein supplements is that it is a convenient and economical way to help you hit those protein numbers. Because remember, when your body is in a positive nitrogen balance, which can only come from the protein macromolecule, it forces your body to spare lean muscle tissue, allowing you to drop this stubborn body fat and keep that tight lean look. So what I do sometimes is I'll usually do a scoop, scoop and a half, sometimes two scoops of protein in my post-workout shake. Now one scoop is 25 grams of protein, so scoop and a half, you're gonna be around 37 and a half and you can even get up to 50 grams of protein post-workout. So the thing is, if your goal is to reach, let's just say 150 grams of protein per day, but you double your scoop post-workout, that already eliminates 50 grams of protein. So now you only need to focus on getting 100 grams of protein from real food, which actually makes it way more economical, way more practical, and you're not stressing over hitting protein numbers all day long. So if you guys wanna check out my protein products, you guys can check out gagelife.com. You guys can save with code GL10. And please comment below which of these seven tips you're gonna start implementing today. So thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.